Gardner, which is um, a few miles from New Paltz. We're gonna ride through the Catskills for a few days. Yeah, well, um, aside from being excited about this, this little trip, so normally Joy plans our routes, and this time I planned out the. After half a mile, keep left. This time I planned out the two routes that we're doing, so hopefully it turns out okay. It was uh, I have I have a, a a better appreciation now for how much keep left how much work goes into route planning because uh, it did take uh, quite a bit of time to. To plan these routes, and um, but it was kind of fun at the same time. And uh, you know, again, I, I hope that it, it turns out the way that uh, that I'm envisioning it. I think um, we have potential to have a couple of I eighty four. We uh, have potential to have a couple of great rides here. One of the, one of them will be on the road bike. The other one on the gravel bike. The uh, the first route is um, is mo is pretty much all paved road um, and it's going to be a century ride and then the second one is uh, only about 50 miles or so um, and it's um, about half and half road and, and gravel and it's actually I think a little bit more gravel than paved road so we'll be using the gravel bikes for that. So uh, we are here now at our Airbnb and uh, we got here actually a little early because we thought that the, the owner had finished cleaning it. Come to find out there was still somebody here so we left and went out to get something to eat and uh, came back again. Um, just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the why we're doing this ride it was going to be part of our anniversary so we're spending some time here and uh so tomorrow we're doing a um century ride it could potentially be a uh 200k ride because oops sorry um it's it's potentially could be a 200k ride because um what we're looking to do is, um, actually, I don't really know the route. Um, we're going to go through the Catskills, ride up some of the, do some climbs there, and then come down. And then if we have the legs, we're actually in a climb up Mohonk Mountain. And Mohonk Mountain is pretty steep. Um, so we have two types of rides that we're doing, and I don't know if Jason mentioned it. So we have the gravel bike here. And we're also doing a road bike ride. So um, that's why we have um, two sets of bikes. And uh, we got that all settled. So we had a total of four bikes. Um, and uh, we were able to fit it in our um, the Kuat bike racks. Good morning. Um, it is the next day now, the following day, and uh, we're just getting ready to head out. I'm still in my pajamas. Um, just finished, or sort of finished, my breakfast. Um, if you guys are wondering what I have for breakfast, I typically have on every ride, before every ride in the morning, I have a bagel toasted with nut butter and jam. Usually it's a strawberry jam. Uh, I usually can't finish the entire bagel, so I usually have to have like a quarter. There's a quarter of a bagel left, and Jason usually finishes it. So um, so I really have, it's a whole bagel that I have in half, and um, I have that with my uh, vitamins and supplements in the morning with coffee. Obviously, we need caffeine for this. 
Um, it looks as though it is going to be um, cooler temperature today. Yesterday was really humid, hot, um, and there was a passing thunderstorm. We actually missed it on our drive here. And um, so we were spared with uh, driving through a storm, but because of that, it actually broke the heat. And supposedly it's going to be 82 degrees Fahrenheit today. Um, it looks like it might be in the 60s outside. So that should be um, perfect, perfect riding temperature. It is a little cooler than what I'm normally what I'm used to now since I'm used to the heat. Um, so, but I didn't really bring anything to help uh, keep my core temperature warm. Uh, so I'll just have to go with whatever I have. All right, so what can you tell us about this route? Um, well, it's, it's either going to be a century ride or 200 kilometers. There's, so the, there's two versions of the route. They're identical up until the 100 mile mark. And then we have the option to do some extra miles at the end if we feel up to it to do 200 kilometers. Um, so the route basically, uh, it basically just goes through some of the, uh, the Catskill mountain range. And, you know, there's a decent amount of climbing. And uh, it's kind of, kind of an out and back. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't remember the names of every town that we're going to be going through. But it's, uh, it should be some, some nice quiet roads and some climbing. And we're uh, riding past the winery right now, a vineyard right now. So I think we're going to see a lot of farmland, uh, a few lakes maybe. Um, I think there's a few lakes along the way reservoir lakes and uh yeah it should just be some good you know hopefully nice quiet roads to ride on and to have a nice hoping for a nice smooth ride yeah i'm looking forward to this ride really excited for it because um well that's part of the mountain that we're going to be climbing <laughs> which is the Shawagunk Mountains and there's trails up there. So yeah, uh, looking forward to it. So our first stop is in Ellendale. Okay. So we see so we'll know where to go. Mm -hmm.
That was some crazy descending. That was a little scary. Oh, we gotta climb it? Ah. Walgreens. Two hours into the ride and 26 miles in. Um, we did this climb and it was about three miles, I think a little less than three miles long. And then we descended it and there was this beautiful view of the town, but it was really scary also descending it. The roads were fine, the roads were wide and it wasn't too busy. The downside now is that we have to climb back up that road later coming back home. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Jason went shopping. Yeah, we stopped at a Walgreens because uh, so I made my first mistake of the, the ride so far, which is I can't find there's supposed to be a bakery um, in this town. We're in this town called Ellenville right now, and there's supposed to be a bakery along the route. And uh, I, I didn't see it on the road that I thought it was on. So we just stopped at a Walgreens because that was the most convenient place to stop that we saw. Um, so we're 26 miles into the ride. We have a few, few extra miles because we had to do a detour at the beginning, the very beginning of the ride. could see that but we were wondering why we were passing by all these people dressed like they're going swimming and uh, turns out there's like a beautiful like turquoise blue turquoise green uh, pool so I could see why people are camping or it looks like they're doing a picnic and uh, swimming looks fun. I am, um, I kind of want to jump in. <laughs> Five miles into yeah 65.6 miles into our ride I was a little nervous at first that um, we weren't gonna find this place we're at this uh, stop called Teta's Cooper tires market gasoline got everything in there um, and we were going 40 miles without any stops through the Catskill State Park which was really neat to, to go through except um, there was no water stops. So um, we came down this long descent and still did some climbing to get here. But finally we're here and uh, refueled with some goodies. Got plenty of water. Um, I got two Twix bars and uh, potato chips. We have a big climb coming back. There's a, a climb that's uh, I don't know, three, three or four miles long. It's, I think it's a category two climb. Um, and so that'll probably slow us down somewhat. Um, it'll probably, I'm guessing it's like three more, about three more hours of riding time. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm, uh, I'm feeling okay. Um, legs are not great today. Um, legs have been sort of on and off there's times when 
they felt a little tired and then uh, other times where they're feeling all right. Um, it kind of seems like any time we stop, at, uh, stop for a while and then start going, it, it takes, takes me a while to warm up again. Um, but that's all right. Uh, pretty confident that we can finish this ride out. It's, uh, the weather is beautiful. Uh, it's, it, we really lucked out with the weather. Uh, it's been relatively cool, um, or cool enough to, to keep us from overheating. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with the way that, that the ride is going. Here in the rear. Back wheel skidded. Reminds me of a farm with water. Except we're in road tires. <laughs> my first uh, little mishap with route planning. I took us on this uh, gravel road, which I knew it was a gravel road, but when I looked at it on Google Maps when I was planning the route, I only looked at the beginning part of the road and it was a nice, fine, smooth gravel, which it, most of the road was that way. But then eventually we got to a section that was a little bit more rocky and there was a steep climb thrown in there too. So. Um, I mean, what would a century ride be without a little adventure, right? That mountain right there, we're gonna have to climb that. So how was yesterday? Uh, it was, well, first of all, it was a beautiful weather. So perfect, pretty much perfect weather for this time of year. Uh, so that worked out great. Um, the route was pretty good or the route was the route was good there was there were um a couple spots that i i didn't care for there was one busy section going through a town which was kind of necessary though because we needed some place to stop and get more water and food um and then later in the ride there was a gravel road that lasted a little bit longer than I thought it was going to and was ended up being a little bit bumpier than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it, it turned out okay. We didn't get any punctures or anything. Um, and then we did uh, about 80 miles into the ride, we did our first category two climb, um, which was about a little over four miles long and 5% average grade. So that was, that was a nice climb. Uh, it had some nice views when we got to the top of that. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun yesterday. I, I think Joy also had a lot of fun, uh, but we're, we're pretty tired today. Our legs are feeling, feeling dead this morning. And, uh, today's activity was going to be another ride of about 50 miles that was a mix between gravel and road and we're gonna change that plan a little bit and um, we're just gonna drive to the um, the park where some of the gravel roads are and just kind of ride around on the gravel roads and, and do some exploring and do do a shorter ride um, so looking forward to that today it's another nice day and um, 
at least we'll get to to do some more exploring and see the today we'll be seeing the hopefully the parts of the route that I really wanted to see um, you know which were the the gravel sections so it should be some nice quiet roads today very quiet roads I should say My God, my legs. I need my 38. <laughs> yeah. Back here at the house, Jason actually went out to get dinner. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about exactly what happened with the ride today. So I just wanted to talk about how I was feeling. Um, this morning when I woke up, um, I was pretty tired. Uh, I felt a little run down and sometimes I feel that way before a ride and uh, usually it does kind of go away as we're riding. So even though I was tired, I still felt like we could do a ride and we definitely thought, we definitely um, agreed to cut the ride much shorter than what it was planned to be. It was supposed to be a 50 mile ride with 4,000 feet of climbing and we um, were supposed to do that route was supposed to go up Mohonk Mountain and that's supposed to be a really steep climb and I just felt like maybe that's not a great way to recover from a century ride that we did yesterday so we decided to just cut the ride short and maybe just explore the trails in the Minnewaska Preserve well it wasn't it's not you know not jason's fault not realizing how much climbing that particular trail actually had and we first started out at the mohonk um this area called the mohonk preserve um like where we could park and actually kind of we thought perhaps we could connect to the trap tra traps trail uh, so we parked at the East Trap Trail, not realizing that there is no connector from that parking lot to the path, to the carriage roads. As we climbed up this, this, these stairs and, and our bikes, um, we carried the bikes obviously. Going and up the stairs. Well, at least it's shaded. Yeah, we're already here, so let's just go. And then um, a guy told us that um, there usually people don't ride their bikes in the East Traps trails, usually like mountain climbing and hiking. So we decided um, let's just connect to the road. And the road is like this switchback up the, um, the mountain. We decided to ride up the mountain. Actually, it was not that bad. There was this one switchback. We thought maybe that was going to be pretty scary, but it actually was a gradual climb. And with the gravel bikes, um, we have the 42 chain ring in the front, and it's a 1044 in the back. So it was plenty of gearing. Um, I actually was doing like almost like zone one up that climb because of the low gearing on that bike. Um, but I was still feeling pretty crappy. Um, and it's also hotter today. Not as hot as it was last week. It's not a 90s or anything, but um, with the sun hitting you, it, it, feels, um, it feels awful. So I, it was hot. Um, I wasn't feeling 100% and uh but i kept you know we just kept climbing and it was kind of a neat climb and i've always actually thought oh well, this would be a great road to climb um and then we connected onto this bridge that takes us to a trail to lake minnewaska minnewaska 
Um, so this was like the West Trap. I think this is the West Trap's uh, parking lot to this uh, trail. So we rode on a trail and pretty nice road, the carriage road. So really nice kind of uh, um, dirt gravel. Actually, it's like more like fine crushed stone type of gravel. Um, and it was pretty dry. That's the thing is that I think I should have just dropped my tire pressure to much lower than what I had it initially. I think I had it at 36 um, PSI in the rear. I should have dropped it lower than that because my tires, I didn't feel confident in the tires um, at, in, in that type of, of condition and terrain. Um, and I was also terrified of the climbing. Um, parts of the climbing was like on the edge of a cliff and I am terrified of heights and it definitely was, you know, something that I could not, I, I don't know what it was, I just like froze or I just did not feel like wanting to do, wanting to go on. Um, and it also, all that climbing, it was steep. There's a ton of switchbacks. So as soon as you get closer to the visitor center of the Minnewaska Preserve, as soon as you get to that, there's a ton of switchbacks. And part of the switchbacks, you can see over the cliff and I mean, there was some room between me and the cliff, probably a good like 10 feet, but I made sure I stayed closer to, cause the cliff was onto my right. And so I made sure I stayed to the left of the trail. Um, and so it was terrified of heights. It was um, a lot more steeper climbing that I, than I wanted to do on a recovery ride and it was hot, I was just tired. And so a combination of all those, uh, um, all those things that I was feeling, um, I just couldn't um, go on any further. We did get up to the lake. Um, that was a beautiful lake. And then Jason decided, let's just cut, let's just go back down. And I was also terrified to go down the mountain. Um, and I'm not usually one to be afraid of, of descending. Um, I actually love descending and, um, and I, you know, I think I have pretty good skills descending. And for that one, I was just my thumbs. Um, so when I hold on to the hoods, um, I had a hard time with my thumbs and I think it's just pretty sore from yesterday. As I was ascending, I really could not get a comfortable position. I didn't feel confident. We got to the paved road and then we got out of the, the, the park and it was more gradual. Obviously the roads are wider uh, as soon as we left the, 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 the park. And then I still was, I was still had this fear in me um, because I knew that, as I knew eventually we would hit the uh, overlook, which is like a lookout point and it's the trees have been cleared so you can actually see beyond the um, you can see like the valley um, and I was terrified of going over that even though I had pretty good braking power um, I, I just as soon as I saw that I like almost froze and uh, this fear it's like this all of a sudden this fear just came on and um, so I decided to slow down and the switchback going up it, and I thought again, I was going, I was terrified with it. It was fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what happened today, but I, like I said, it was just a combination of things that didn't uh, start out from well in the beginning that really 
um, impacted the entire ride. Hopefully in the fall, when the, ch when the leaves change color, um, we can go, we can come back here and we can do that ride fresh. Um, that was another thing is that because I was tired, I was just like mentally not there and I really would like to be more focused and have like a clearer head when, um, when I'm doing these descents because, you know, anything could go wrong, right? Like, uh, I just don't want to chance it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know, um, it's kind of, a, it's kind of like a hodgepodge stuff of things that happened. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be back here in a couple months during the fall season to enjoy the fall foliage. All right, guys, until next time. Don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.